to make the next part of the screw jack and that is the nut and you can download this file from the link given in the description also and then the link is also given for how to create a body of the screw jack in CATIA in the description so here also we will be using the shaft tool and we will go to CATIA mechanical design and part design and this one is so I am giving the nut name as nut and here also I am going to choose any of the plane since we are making the revolved part so I am going to choose this YZ, YZ plane and I am going to create on sketch and I am going to use the line tool again and again so I am going to double click on it so I am going to make only the hash portion and then use the shaft tool in CATIA so the internal diameter they are given it as 38 mm square threading and into 7 pitch so that will internal diameter will be 38 mm so first I will make that one so I will add and the total height is 45 first I will add the dimension simultaneously while making the sketch it is very easy so the internal diameter they are given it has 38 so we are going to make only the half so it, the so it will be 19 and from here the total height is they are also given it has 45 and from here I am going to make another line and here I am going to use the option called the arc here yeah, I am going to use the ascent 3 point arc and later I am going to add the tangent and I am going to remove this excess line and first I will add the dimensions so this height is 10 and the, from the top also it is 10 and the external diameter is 50 and till here it is 90 so, and we are going to add the dimension from this to this they are given the diameter as 50 so half of it will be 25 and this height also they are given that is 10 mm and from here till here it is 45 degree and now I will add a tangent constraint to these two I will select these two and add the tangent C and similarly for this one as well and tangent is there I am going to remove this excess line by using the trim option and I am going to use the quick trim and I will add the dimension for this one it is radius is 5 and now you can see everything is fully constrained and I will just check in the sketch solving status and here also it is shows ISO constraint so it is fully defined and we will exit this sketching workbench and we will use the shaft tool ok here they are given the fillet of radius 5 that one we can give it and this one also we can add it in later so first we'll choose the axis i'm going to revolve it about the set axis and here you can see that there is a internal thread of square thread 38 mm and dia and 7 mm pitch and here in catia you cannot create a cosmetic threads that is you cannot create visually you cannot see the threads after applying the threading option but in the drafting it will show that the threading is there we cannot make the square thread but we will make sure that we have added the threading so I am going to select the thread option here you are having the option called thread tab if you don't see here go to insert 
and here in the address of feature you will see an option called thread or tab since here we are making the internal internal threading so here it is I am going to choose this face and that is the circular part and the limit face is this and if you are making the thread it shows over here and the tab it shows over here so since it is an internal threading it we are going to do a tapping so and I am going to make it up to the plane I am going to make, make sure that the threading is done up to here and it is not a standard one so I am going to enter it manually 38mm and the pitch is 7 and it is a right hand thread and we just click on ok and it shows the tab diameter should be greater than the support diameter that is because we are making the internal threading so it should be greater so we are just going to use the metric thick, thick patch and ok just for the appearance in the drafting we are going to use and now we will add the fillet fillet is of 5 mm radius I am going to remove this clear the selection and here there is a fillet and here also there is a fillet of 5 mm and now we will apply the material to it and the nut is made up of gun metal and you can see my previous videos and how to create and add the material so I am going to add the material I have already created a custom material and I have stored it so I am going to add it at the top level and that's it and thank you for watching my video in the next video we will see how to make the next part that is the screw spindle of a screw jack and thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions thank you